properties of water, specific heat and heat of vaporization. Water has high specific heat, whereas land has low specific heat. And it's the same thing like metal has low specific heat. So when the sun comes up, the water can stay cool and warm, but the land, it gets hot. The land cannot absorb the heat from the sun. It instead repels it. That's why we feel the heat coming from the land. Water can absorb a lot of heat from the sun. So that's why it's able to stay warm and cool and not heat up. It doesn't release the heat. So waters are cooler than the land. That's what it means when water has high specific heat. Body of water, for example, like the ocean, because it can absorb a lot of heat, it's able to stay cool and warm. And the fish are able to live longer. And heat generated by us when we play sports are absorbed by the water in our body. We are composed of 70 to 90% water. So the heat in our body absorbs the water. Now, water also has high heat of vaporization. That means it takes a lot of heat, a lot of temperature, 100 degree Celsius to be exact, for water to become gas. And this is important because it needs a lot of heat for water to become gas. Therefore, water can absorb a lot of heat. For example, the sweat in our body. When we're active, we sweat. The reason is when we sweat, the water is on our skin. It absorbs as much heat as it can on our body. And when carried by the wind, it cools us down. So that's why specific heat and heat of vaporization is important. It keeps our body cool. Genetic joke. My mother taught me about genetics. You're just like your father. How are you similar to your parents?